And welcome back everyone to Let's Play Baldur's Gate. In the last episode we picked up our first party member, Rasad, and being the goody goody two shoes that he is, he sacrificed himself in order to save us from the evil assassin Nira. Now off screen I uh, I sold some of our equipment uh, just to gather enough money to be able to uh, to resurrect Rasad. Also we picked up these uh, Braces of defense from Nira, and as you can see, this is the random item generator at work. She normally doesn't have these items. For us, this is uh, this is quite useful. It's an armor class of eight, which is basically the same as a leather armor, but it'll help us out a bit. And I think, but I'm not sure. I think Rasat can use these as well, so we might be able to turn them into a bit of Don't a tank. We shall see in a second when we resurrect him. Let's see, raise that. And we get him back from the dead. Your wish? Sans his butch, which we should pick up from the uh, the inn again. Let's see, can you use these items? Yes, you can. That is really fortunate. So with the boots, he'll be able to have an armor class of two. Oh, that's that's really good. What do you need? Now let's Hell quickly pick up some healing potions as well, because, well, <laughs> we're out of them. Let's see, three potions, yeah. I think that's worth the cost. So let's give one of these to Ministrone and two of them will go to Rasad. And you cannot use oils of speed. Eh. That sucks. Tell me you want it. Right. You've got it. Oh, also in the last episode we leveled up. Which is really, really good. We get an extra first level spell to cast, and as well, no extra first level spell to pick up. Oh, that's really? Oh, sure, you get an extra spell choice at level two. Maybe it's at level three then. Hmm. All right. I was hoping to pick up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, a sleep spell, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, we'll have to hold out for another level. Now, Ublek here is, uh, uh, what do you call it? He's a guy that gives money to bounty hunters. Uh, I don't know, is there a name for that? <laughs> anyway, what is Ministrone going to say to him? She's going to say, number one, she is Grey Wolf. Obviously, she's Grey Wolf, and whatever. Whatever I did, I deserve it. And I get 200 gold. A you bounty officer. Alright. That's what Ublag is. Uh, on the one hand, we get 200 gold. On the other hand, um, I don't think we can finish a, a little side quest later on. I'm not too sure. Also, Rasad is really, really fast on account of him being a monk. Don't worry about me. Now let's just pick up his boots. There we are. An armor class of two is respectable. I'd have preferred to have the, uh, the ring of protection to bump it down to one, which would be quite decent, but... Oh well, you can't have it all. You can't win them all. Alright, so I have... Let's have a little bit of a sleep. You appear troubled. Does a shadow lie upon your sword? Uh, right. What are you gonna say to him? She has no time to talk to him. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, so I think I just, uh, Don't worry about me. killed off any, uh, any romance path that we might have had. Um, where do we want to go? We can go one, two, I think this just leads to the mind. So one, two, three different directions. Number one, number two, number three. Number two, we're going to the carnival. That's always fun. Let's see the carnival. Don't worry about me. We started at a decent location. Now the carnival is 
a little bit of a side area. There's not too much to do here. Um, we can pick a couple of fights. <laughs> Why is there no one here? Am I doing wrong? No, there should be. You need I think it's night time. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. Right, go away. Lord Binky the Buffoon. I think it's night time. Yes, it is. It's unfortunate. So there's a couple of merchants here. We are not one of them. Damn you, damn you. Um, not sure we're equipped to deal with this fight. Right, so this lady dies. Uh, there is a way to save her. Uh, that was not the correct way. <laughs> Let's see if we can. No, we can't interrupt the spell. Hopefully, we can interrupt this fear spell here. No, we can't. And this is the point where we die. Come on. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna set that one out. <laughs> um, I will cheese this fight. Leave us alone, will ya? So Nothing she said. Number two. You want it? You oh wow! It. You actually heard him. Go, go, go! I've got this. I've got this. Right. I don't want to. You heard him through the, the mirror image. I've got this. Good girl. I got hit anyway. It's unfortunate. I think all he has now is magic missiles, which. No, you and another one. Wow. What do you need? Tell me, I've got this. Oh. I will show you justice. No, I don't. Oh. You have three mouse acid arrows. You. you want it? You've got it. We really need to find a way to get rid of um, this way, good sir. Over here. mirror images. This way, good sir. Over here. Now this guy will sell us a um, Over here. Over here. A scroll of stone to flesh way, good sir. Over here. to rescue this person here, Bronan. She's way, a party member sir. as well, Over a here. decent cleric. Not the best one, but uh, I've got the best prices this side of we're not gonna pick her up. You have nothing of interest. You want it? You've got it. I think with the item randomizer, they sometimes sell magic items, but I'm not too sure. This way, good sir. Over here. Let's see. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. We have some arrows of piercing, but that doesn't really help. Right. So that's for you. Pick up like no, nope. sixteen or something. There we are. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. Tell me. Give it to me. Don't. Right. Me. Um. There really isn't much to do in this area besides this way, the fight in the, in the tent over there, and I do want to try that fight. I might off camera it. It's it's gonna be cheesy anyway, so yeah. You want it? I know what this No, this guy is is a salesman extraordinaire really. Uh he's gonna sell us a potion for fifty gold and it's gonna be a really, really awesome potion. Let's see if Ministron wants it. Alright. We can get it for 40 gold. I will take the red elixir for 40 gold. Why did I do that? I don't know. This potion sucks. I think it's worth don't a bit of gold. Though, so. That's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna pause the recording here. I'm gonna cheese the hell out of this guy and see if we can pick up his items because I need more equipment. I'll be back in a second, guys. I understand. And we're back. That just cost me a healing potion and pff, the rest of my afternoon, basically. So yeah, <laughs> but we did 
take out Zodral and let's see what he Tell has me. on his body here. This. A color spray and a sleep spell. That's that is an awesome pickup. It's really gonna save me. Grease, not so much. A couple more spells and a mage robe. Now I think if you save her you get a point of reputation, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, well, who cares about reputation, right? Now we've got two mage robes, which we do not know what they are. We have no identification spells. Also, on uh, the corpse of Nira, our uh, friendly assassin in, in Nashkel, she had this bounty notice on her. Apparently we're worth 680 gold coins. Hmm. Let's not get rid of that on the streets. I don't think that's the smartest idea. Uh, let's see, this is a potion of heroism, which Rassad might be able to use. Yes, very nice. So that's going to be a useful item or consumable, consumable to pick up at some point. Um, I believe we're Don't done here. We picked up a few decent items, so that's not too bad. Now, I'm not going to go into the mines just yet, me. but I do want to check out this little uh, random spot over here. And see if there's anything nice in there. Your wit Lune guides my hand. There's a small shield in there. What do you that need? sucks. Can't even Wanted. use that. And there's usually a wand of gold or a wand of lightning in there, which is really, really, really useful. Um, we can't handle Grey Wolf yet, we can't handle the mines yet. I think I want to go back to the high hatch, see if we can sell off some of our equipment and maybe try to take out Silky, I don't know. Might be able to. Don't worry about me. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, despite the fact that we have an extra party member, um he's not that tanky or survivable, so it's for now uh, we're not at the at the position where we can say, alright, this game is winnable. Of course we're going to win the game, but it's going to take quite a bit of you want reloading, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> until hopefully we get Garrick and then... I hope everything picks up then. Well, having three party members might really help though, so... Uh, we don't have enough gold to identify everything. Let's just identify these three. We have the red potion. gives 50% resistance to all magical damage. You know? Well, it's such a strength of free, that's that's the problem with this, uh, with this potion, but... We might want to use this against Silky. It lasts for 24 hours, which is annoying, because probably we won't be able to walk then, but... On account of our strength being so low, but... I feel we might want to use this. This is a plus two leather armor, which is a decent armor, but I don't think any... No, we don't really have any party members who can use it. Well, at some point, um, Faldorn could use it, but I'm sure we'll find a better item before then, hopefully. And this is really nice. We can use this against Silky. The lightning resistance will really be useful. And the knave's rope will be useful after that as a, a basic rope. Um, what did I want to pick up? I needed a shield spell, which you don't have. Please tell me you have a shield spell. There we are. 
as well as uh, oh, I could go for a scroll at 25%. In that case, we won't go for a scroll. We want a potion of insulation. Yep, 50% land resist for two hours. That's fine. And anything else? Healing potions. <laughs> I already used one on the fight with uh, Swordral, was his name, I guess. Any useful scrolls? I really love to get that one of sleep, but we can't really afford it just now. I might want some more damage scrolls just to take care of. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go for the scorcher. Oh yeah. And what I want to try to do is see how much it costs to. Buy back my one of missiles. Six thousand gold. Better have ninety nine charges then. Wow. Um. Let's try that again. Don't worry about me. What I'm gonna try to do is sell the wand to some shopkeeper I can steal from. Um, and with Garrick, he has pickpocketing, so I might be able to steal it back. That would save me a bit of gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a, uh, that's a good plan. So let's re-equip ourselves. See if we can handle Silky if we uh, I've got this. pick up enough protection. Why do I live in such a pissant town? All right. So we want to identify these items again. We want to sell the protector of the second and identify that. You have any worthless scrolls? Yeah, the priests. We don't really need that. Anything else to sell? This ring here, alright. Uh, we want to pick up... Shield spell. Magic missiles is cast at level 1, I think, so that's not too useful. We wanted a... Potion of insulation, where are you? There you are. Now let's pick up three more healing potions just in case. And we want the Scorcher here, which is a decent damage spell. Right. So, this is the plan, these are the strats. First of all, we're gonna go get some rest. <laughs> we'll put on our uh, spiffy new robe. Now, we're starting to look like a real mage. We haven't got the damage output of a real mage, but we're starting to look the part. Let's take the, uh, the safe route back. Hopefully we don't get damaged by the skeleton. Very good. Alright, back to Baragast. I will Don't worry about quickly me. rest up off screen and I shall see you in front of Silky. You need. And I brought you back because we get I this little you. video here. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. 
the very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. All right. And for that dream, yeah, I uh, had to rest a couple of times. Yeah, I was sure it's, it was going to trigger, but yeah, I rested like two other times. Uh, <laughs> Tell me. We get a special ability, Cure Light Wounds, which will be really useful. So yeah, that's great. Also, I saw that this guy has the Deafness spell for sale, which will be useful against Silky. It, it gives her a 50% chance to miscast any spell. Now this will be useful, but I do think she casts... Um, Invisibility? I'm not too sure. Now we also have Glitter Dust here, which will reveal invisibility. So I will pick up both of these spells, which might be nice. In any case, we'll have to handle Silky in the next video. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.